Yes, I'm back. I took a little weekend off last weekend. Had some things to do. You probably won't be seeing me as much as I used to here. You know, but of course, if you have questions, ideas, just go ahead and continue to follow Tina the Keto Coach. But definitely follow me here on Facebook and for real, follow me on Instagram for sure. So other than that, hi, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. Didn't want to take a whole lot of your time, but I already made what I wanted to present to you today for um, Friday Night Treats with Tina, the Keto Coach. Um, of course, pizza is everybody's favorite. You can't go wrong with that, especially with me. But you don't want all the carbs and things. So what I did, I got you know the little 10 or the 12 ounce can of chicken, drained it. I put it in my food processor. I put some um, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, three regular size, well, I guess they were medium size eggs. I put that in there and um, I put, um, what else? Um, a little over, a, maybe a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese and I blended it in. It was kind of had, kind of had a, like a pasty wet consistency. I put my parchment paper on my pizza um, pan, as you see here. You see the pizza is beautiful. I'll tell you what it, what it is exactly. And then I spread it out and then I put my um, wax paper on top of the dough so I can mash it out and spread it throughout the crust. And then after I'm finished, I take the wax, peel, gently peel the wax paper off. Definitely listen to me so you all can do this this weekend with you and your family. Um, and then any leftover that's on the wax paper, I take it off with a spatula and just gently put it in. And then I put it in the oven for about 15 minutes on 350. And then periodically I check the oven and I stick a fork in it. And the, the crust is awesome. It's amazing. It's one of those, it kind of reminds me of that crusty sourdough type of a bread, believe it or not. That's how it comes out. And then after I did that, I, um, I had already started um, cooking my bacon and sauteing my skinless, um, boneless chicken thighs, seasoning them, of course, with the garlic powder, garlic, you know, um, onion powder, and whatever have you, and my other regular traditional seasoning, but I always make sure they don't have any sugar in it or added, added sugar or sugar derivative, derivatives or no artificial sweetener in it. Um, so I went on and sauteed the chicken, mashed it up good and everything, Took the um, let that sauté on the stove, my chicken. Took the crust out. The crust was ready. Took a little barbecue sauce. I found this really nice, um, it's unsweetened barbecue sauce. But I did add add some keto friendly sweetener to it. So a little bit of stevia, stevia brown, stevia white to it. And um, I also did it with when I was sautéing the chicken. Put some in the chicken too. But I also put that on the crust as if it's a um, pizza sauce, but instead of a pizza sauce, I used the barbecue sauce instead. Then I put Kobe and Jack cheese, and I put Mexican blend cheese on top. Then I added the chicken, my um, bacon, and then I added some blue cheese to it. You know, if you don't like blue, blue cheese, the other alternative is usually gorgonzola, if you like gorgonzola cheese, you know. So I did that, added that to that, stuck it in the oven. Let it cook through more, took it out, sprinkled more cheese on top. You know me with the cheese, especially since it's a Friday night treat, right? Sprinkled more cheese on top, stuck it back in the oven, gave it another five minutes. Then I put it on warm until my presentation to you all right here. Put it on warm, <clears throat> took it out, and here we are. This is my keto chicken barbecue pizza that we're going to have. I'm going to cut a slice. So first of all, let me let you all see. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That's very nice, isn't it? And I'm going to cut a slice. See how this comes out? Straight out of the oven. Now sometimes with these keto, low carb, um, even carnivore pizza crust, sometimes they won't give you the the pick up with your hand type of a thing, but we're going to test it. So sometimes you still have to lift it up some other kind of way or and still continue to use a fork or whatever you, utensil that you eat with. 
So we're going to take this out. Ooh, look at that. See that? Let's see the hand test. See if we can do this. Got a lot of... Oh, okay. See? Like regular pizza. Let's taste. Mmm. Piece of chicken fell off. See, I didn't want to actually make it in front of you all. I'm trying to do some things make, to make things better because, like I said, it's just me that's doing all these lives. and I don't have a staff or a crew or none of that stuff. So I am in the process of learning how to videotape edit, which I used to know how to videotape edit on old equipment more than 30 years ago when I was still in college at Morgan State. But um, I'm relearning how to do that. Mmm. This is delicious. Oh, and I put a little bit of um, the red onion on it a little bit also to give it that little pop of taste and seasoning. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. It has a nice, sweet, barbecue-y, but yet a tart taste. Love it. Delicious. And of course, however, you um you all choose to do this, feel free. Just remember you have to make sure you're not using carbs or watch your carbs and make sure they're low. And make sure you're not using products that have um, artificial sweetness. Only use keto-friendly sweetness. But as I said, I'm working on some new things, you know, especially since this is near the end of the year, so you probably won't see me as much. Contemplating whether to come back and make something Thanksgiving Z for next Friday or just wait until, um, I guess, around my birthday time, which is in December. Mm. Now that's a pizza. Now those of you that who aren't keto, that like to have your, let's say your adult beverages, this seems like this would pair great with a glass of wine or even beer. Some of you that drink beer. It has that earthiness to it also. But for me, I'm going to have my regular old keto friendly soda. Or just drink water or I drink sparkling water. Or regular water. That's what I basically drink. Tea, coffee sometimes. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. I think this is one of the best pizzas I've made. Months ago, I think last year, or even year before last, I think you all seen me make a Chicago-style deep dish pizza. Probably will do that again sometime in the future. But this is excellent. And the reason why, if you're asking, I use um, chicken thigh instead of chicken breast. When I first went keto, it took me a while to get used to not having chicken breast. Chicken breast is too lean. What we're learning in the keto and the carnivore world, the fattier the meat, the better the meat. And the reason why I have the skinless is not because I'm avoiding fat. You want the fat. It's just that it will work better to, you know, chewability on pizza <laughs> and everything. But other than that, that's the only reason why I didn't have the, um, the skin on the chicken. Mm. This is so good. And look at that. I wish I could show you that crust. See? That's beautiful. Mm. And it's made from canned chicken. Who the fuck? Now some people when they make this type of pizza, sometimes you can use the um the ground chicken if they want or even ground beef. Some people use the broccoli or cauliflower. Some people go to the, the fathead dough, which is made from either coconut flour or almond flour. Or sometimes people have um, gut issues with too much of the almond flour. Doesn't seem to affect me, but sometimes I do that too. But this is good. And another reason why I enjoy eating this way, other than all the weight loss, although I seem to be at a standstill, but that's okay. You don't feel 
full and nasty like you do when you eat stuff that has gluten and um, traditional carbohydrates in it. You really don't, and you still have energy. You know, you still get up and move around. You don't feel like you <laughs> literally ate a cow. You don't feel that way at all. That's, that's what I love about it. But this is absolutely delicious. Just remember, you can always find different types of recipes online. Doesn't have to necessarily be from me. Add your own toppings. Whatever type of pizza that you think you like, like just explore. Matter of fact, I'm trying to find a recipe from one of those um, multi-level marketing kitchen gadget companies. They uh, went to a party one time and the young lady made a pizza from, um, what is it? She had sauteed onions, so they were just sauteed to death. She used cream cheese. Anybody know what that recipe is? I'm looking forward to trying that one day soon and everything. Hey, thanks for watching me, my Instagram family. Love you, love you. Yes, indeed. But this is really good. How about if you have a friend that's following a ketogenic lifestyle, you make something like this for them. Wouldn't they love it? Mmm. Mm-hmm. And this is the type of pizza if you want to throw some more barbecue sauce on it, although it doesn't need it, you can do that too. Mm. This is so good. Oh yeah, and I did have my, my annual checkup. Everything looks good. I still have work to do. I still want to, you know, wish me luck that I continue to lose more weight <laughs> and everything, but Everything looks pretty good. It's just, just watch certain things. I'm like, okay, you know, but that's a good thing. So I still have a ways to go, and this is a slow process for me. I'm not somebody that's going to drop it overnight. Like I said, I've already lost like 106 pounds altogether, but it's taken me the progression of many years to do that. I mean, it really has. So other than that, I'm here. Thank you for watching me. And check me out. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll come back next Friday or wait till after Thanksgiving or not. But I'll keep you posted. Thank you so much for watching Friday Night Treats with Tina. This is Tina the Keto Coach. You all have a fabulous weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.